61 years ago, two great Kiwi athletes, Peter Snell and Murray Helberg, took Olympic gold in Rome. Tonight, their countrymen, the All Blacks, look to record another win over Italy at the very same venue. Tenekoto Talofa, Maluwalele Bulla, Bonjourno, as the All Blacks tour of the North continues live on Sky Sport. I'm joined in commentary by two former All Blacks, Mills Moliaina and Justin Marshall. Good morning, Nisbo. No, mate. Heidi, mate. Benvenuta a questa grande partita. Welcome in, everybody. Another line-out win for Bailly. They slip it to the back where Coles. Over 15. As the All Blacks apply a little bit of pressure near the 22. He's going to slip it to Weber, which he now does. Off it goes to Moonga. Put down again by Enor. He's under real pressure. And not a great start for Braden Enor. Just claps his hands there in disgust. That's a very scratchy start. And what they haven't done is they haven't adjusted to that line speed. Stephen Varney works away for Garbisi. Again, the defence is solid in close by the All Blacks. Now, hooker Lucchese. Again, lays it back. Their retention is good. Again, the kick comes from Varney, McKenzie. And... Referee's blown a penalty. Oh dear. He's given an apology. When the Italians are off, actually, to score a try. Oh, that's got me totally confused. Here they go. Win it quickly. Now here's Coles. Looks to turn it back on the inside, then goes the outside. In the movement twice. To Pyre. Gets it away. Oh, McKenzie took his eye off the ball. Another basic error. And apologises. Well, this has been a fairly forgettable almost 20 minutes here from the All Blacks. Standard pass. Just thinking ahead too quickly. And this is how confident they are now. They know they're getting it underneath the All Blacks skin. Scrum starting to go backwards. And now here's Christie stretching. And they scored, I think. The referee's going to have to check it. But it looks as though Finley Christie might have stretched out and scored his first try for the All Blacks. Off the back of a very good scrum, he's ended up short. He's entitled to reach out, and that is downward pressure. Yep. Okay, thank you. Uh, it was a great All Black scrum. And the All Blacks finally on the board and lead by 7 to 0. Yeah, have a look at that. Just pops out. It's a great finish because he still had plenty of work to do. And the awareness to reach out and ground it. Great work. The Nazi, the fullback. Christie has a look around to see who's there. And he does really well. The little guy. The ground announcer. Announcing away for a good 30 to 40 seconds while the play was going on. <laughs> About the exploits of Finley Christie's try, I think. So, yep. Over 15. Right, the line out, Over five 15. metres out. Another good chance for the Last All Blacks. Once. Dane Coles latching onto the back of this. They haven't had much luck so far, shoving this Italian pack back. This one looking a bit more promising, though. Cole still holds it. Cole's going to the line. The All Black score. And it's the veteran Dane Coles who picks up the second try. Uh, just starting to flex their muscles at set piece time now from the scrum before that has been dominant this entire game. It's been one of the big positives. And I think that it was the experience of Dane Coles because it wasn't perfect, but the minute that he got control of it at the back, he was very aware of the space and the fact that they had them if they just stayed patient and at the right time, when it disintegrated away to the right and peeled to the left, he broke free and scored. Boinger is right down the middle with his second conversion. So two converted tries in short order by the All Blacks. And we'll sit up eventually, one would hope, for Mori. Oh, blue, stationary. Stay and where you are. The kick again is a good one. Oh, it's not out yet, though. Now there's a contest for it. And Missouri have won it. So, Varney 
McKenzie looking over his shoulder, very difficult. But no problem for Damien McKenzie. But he's not going to beat the captain, Michel Lamaro. And the Italians win a penalty. Well, he just tried to weave it too much. Uh, he can wriggle himself out of some situations, Damien McKenzie. It's one of his real skill sets. I thought that he, when he pivoted, pivoted, and then went to contact, that he did release the ball here, but possibly didn't get completely back to his feet as he goes to ground. How about the bounce of the ball? Italy are collecting it, and this is exactly what they wanted. Going for points now. Hello. Garbisi kicks the first penalty. There have been other opportunities, but they've taken one just before half time, and it's 14 points to three. Guys are on different pages, a little bit flat footed. Yeah. Some guys are wanting to hands. Line out one by Lord. Again, Coles locks onto the back of this. They scored a try from the last one. He's gone on his own, Dane Coles. And he's picked up another one. Win early. And try number two for Dane Coles. It just read and summed up the situation perfectly again. Dane Coles uh, really struggling to get any rhythm, as I've mentioned, in their game plan. But the set piece. And he just exploded at the back of that, rock, of that wall. Sorry. Nice kick by Moanga to convert the second try scored by Coles. Well, he's got that explosive pace, and he used it. There for Christie. Away for Coles. Let the ball go. But then didn't Just come straight inside. get to his feet, I don't think. Before, straight inside. He's okay with Coles. It was Tuku Vai. Perhaps they feel they're right in this now. Yeah. They put a lot of pressure on the All Blacks. They're making mistakes in their own 22, struggling to get out. Garbisi bangs the penalty through. His second, and the referee blows the whistle. And it's been a scrappy first half in Rome, but the All Blacks have scored three tries and lead by 21 points to six. Two tries already, Dane Coles. Finding Josh Lord. Slip back to Coles by Lomax. Has a little look. Now Coles. Staying attached. Staying attached, Dane Coles, looking for possibilities. Keeps low and drives and scores, does he? Let's have a look. No, held up. Great effort by the Italian defence. He got himself nice and low as well. Look at his body position. And leg drives very good, assisted by Christie. But it's Ioane that gets underneath him and stops him from getting the ball onto the grass. Ioane's had a good game. And the All Blacks just near their own 22-metre line. Long sequence here. Reese pops it up to De Groot. No hands now! Ball there again for Christie. McKenzie at first receiver. Now Lord. Still on their own side of halfway. Finding it really hard to move this defence. And they held on too long. Ah, uh, look, I, I'm not convinced on the merits of that penalty. Harlo Gabisi, and it's in off. Lands a third penalty goal. 21 points to nine. Azuri takes it outside the 22. Brayley. Waiting his bridge, ball bounces back into the arms of McKenzie. Went one way, then the other. Got it off the bridge. And the All Blacks on their own side of halfway. And up the middle goes Tonga Fast. He got it away. Now Reese. Can he draw and pass? And Sevi Reese might have the pace to go all the way. And he does. Sevi Reese. And the All Blacks score their first try of the second half. Out of nothing as well. 
They didn't handle the kick very well, George Bridge, but he did knock it back, but backwards. And off of Thoranga Fasi, just nice little pick and go, right-handed offload with one hand to Christie. Draws and passes, the last it's defender, Kana. But nicely picked up there too by Ofa Tuinga Fasi. The Italian defence had spread, obviously, to bring that line speed, and there was a nice hole just in front of him off that ruck. Sibiris now, he's struggling a little bit. But his effort, along with Christie. So it shows you how accurate they've been, Italy, at bringing those runners down. Amua throws. Good line-out throw oh, right towards the back. Plenty of attacking options here. As Omua burst his way through. Asafo Omua scoring his first try for the All Blacks. And again, it comes from the quality set piece. Omua, like Coles did previously, spots the opportunity off the back of the breakdown, joins it late, gets his hands on the ball, his eyes up. He could see that there was space there. He wanted it. He got his hands on it quickly, and off he goes with his power and pace. And how about the shift there, too, from De Groot? Just offloading it to him there at the last second. But also the influence, the calming influence of Sam Whitelock, Marsh. He spoke about his experience. But no. Omua throws. Delivered quickly for Christie. Muanga again to Paya. You wonder whether the Italian defence is running out of petrol as... Whitelock slings it off. Moanga drops a lovely pass off. Now Satutu unchallenged. And Hoskins Satutu scores for the All Blacks. Right, it'll be fatiguing defence, but also just learning about where the timing of the pass and the depth of the runner needs to be. Really nice for Moanga. He came from depth from the far side of the ruck injected himself with pace and then slowed his foot speed on that defender and just left the ball in space. A nice transfer on to Sotutu. Job done. Oh, beautiful sweeping run, wasn't it? But it is that fatigue from Italy and knowing and hitting the right space. How about this delayed pass? They both swept back around to the left-hand side, lifted it up and put right in the spot as well here. From George Bridge. Sotutu, he's got plenty of pace for a big man. That just highlighted the depth. Five minutes remaining in Rome. It looks comfortable for the All Blacks, but it's been far from comfortable oh! as Whitelock wins the line out. De Groot and Omua locked onto this, looking very promising. And a couple of the backs are joining in, and they'll go to the line, they'll score. And it's probably Asafo Omua again. It is, he's got a couple. Has been the one shining light for the All Blacks this afternoon in their ability to be able to get themselves in the right zone, execute their line out, throw, jumper, lifters, body position, and then the, in particular the control at the back. Into the last seconds of this game, can they bring up the 50 as Moonga sets it up for Satutu? Barrett's knocked it down. Oh, no, he did. yes, he did. And that is it. The referee blows the whistle. So the All Blacks weren't able to achieve their 50 points. But they've come away with what looks on paper anyway to be a convincing win by 47 points to nine. Uh, certainly a difficult day at the office for the All Blacks.